Rich Tarani here with uh, TMC, and today uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about the various models that companies have when they go to market, uh, not only in the communication space, but uh, in tech in general. Uh, when I started as a programmer, I actually uh, started my career, Greg, I don't know if you know this, back when I was uh, 16. Okay. Uh, well, my career actually started earlier, but at 16, I started programming here at TMC, and I started programming on, uh, on the Unix operating system. Okay. And so I became pretty familiar with Unix, and then Unix eventually went open source, and now we've got Linux, and you know, it's free. And, and uh, so right. it, that's obviously one business model, and that is the, the open source business model. And then we've got what you might consider the opposite, and that will be the closed Right. Business model, and then you know you probably there are other models as well. There's hosted software as a service, but today we'll talk a little bit about you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna pick up some software or some solutions for your company, you can either go open source or you can go I guess closed. Right, and I mean both have uh, pros and cons. Uh, closed system generally comes with uh, a company that offers uh, multi levels of support, and they certainly stand or uh, any good company worth its salt stands behind its product and is right there to uh, uh, to help you know support that product. Sure. Uh, and you really don't have much, but the downside perhaps is you don't have much of a choice of where else to go for support. Right? You have to go back to that company. Uh, on the open source side, of course, um, there's different levels and different layers of support. Right? So a company that offers open source products would probably stand behind their products as well. Uh, but they may offer a free version where support comes from the community at large, be it via forums or blogs and things like that. Uh, so there's different levels of support that you can get. Um, it's important to note that you know the, maybe traditionally the knock on open source is like you can't get support anywhere. I don't want to just go to a blog. Um, frequently, though, these are the most educated people on the subject matter and the most uh, well versed, um, and uh, to a great degree, you know that's probably the place to go to get information if you're if you're tweaking your system. Uh, and of course, that translates into what kind of expertise do you need to have on your own staff, right? If you're just having people come in and fix things for you, or if you're fixing things yourself and you just need some uh, assistance, right? So, uh, but rather than focus on the fact that your products need fixing, <laughs> uh, we're actually uh, bringing these two worlds uh, together on the stage at IT Expo, which is coming up February 2nd to the 4th in Miami Beach. That's the, the Global Communications event, that IT Expo? That's the one, the Global okay. Communications event. I've heard event. of it. Yes, well, I've heard of it as well. Uh, in fact, Tuesday, February 3rd, we're going to feature two keynotes uh, from executives representing uh, two uh, companies, uh, which uh, sort of uh, represent the two business models we're talking about. One is Microsoft, and they're represented on stage by John Fredrickson, who's a general manager at Microsoft, uh, and he runs their response point business. Uh, and the second keynote that day is by the CEO of Digium, uh, the open source telephony people who brought us Asterisk, uh, and their CEO is Danny Windham. And so he'll be providing the, uh, the second keynote that day. So, you know, two different uh, approaches to the market, uh, two different uh, approaches to technology, perhaps, uh, both valid. Uh, and we're, I'm interested, curious to see what two viewpoints we'll get that day. Yeah, I am as well. I mean, it's uh, very interesting that the the concepts of open source, closed source, and the different kinds of companies. I mean, Digium is a for-profit company, and so right. they support the community. In my interviews that I've had with Danny Windham in the past, his company's role is to support the Asterisk community, but at the same time have a viable business model and walk the fine line between the two, which, which is sometimes a, a difficult line to walk. Sure. And on the other hand, you've got Microsoft, who is basically... A uh, company that charges for most of the software that it gives out, but right. that's not necessarily true either. They've got things like their uh, Hotmail service, and they've got things like IE and right. other right. other products which they give away for free. Yeah, certainly on the consumer side, they give a lot of that. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting that you've got these different models, but they, you know, you, you consider that oh, open source, free, free, free. But there's companies making money from the open source. You've also got Sangoma and other companies that are right. supplying hardware in the space. And then you've got Microsoft that, for for the most part, they charge for everything, but they also have some consumer products, like you said, they right. give away. But nonetheless, I think this is a, just a representation of the industry as a whole, and and we're bringing them on stage at a show where you can get the best of both worlds, the Microsoft Absolutely. and the open source point of view. Absolutely, and that's been one of the hallmarks of our show, I think, from the beginning, uh, is that we try to uh, you know, bring uh, as wide a message as possible uh, within the telecommunications and IP communications space uh, that uh, you know, of all the different business models, of all the different size companies that are in the market, and we try to represent all of them. So. Well, great. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for being on uh, our show today. Thanks, Rich.
I'm Rich Tarani. Uh, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you at IT Expo February uh, 2nd through 4th, uh, 2009.